Hello world, um, this is Daniel Rucker with True Table. I'm back. Um, welcome, if this is your first time viewing the channel, welcome. If you're a return listener, thank you for returning. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to definitely dive in today. Uh, what I wanted to do is give you guys kind of a, a list of topics that I'm looking to discuss in the upcoming weeks. So let me pull out my list. I'm sorry, I'm in my mobile office. <laughs> but um, so just a few topics that I've been swirling around with, you know, playing around with and Again, feel free if there's things that you want to hear me discuss or things you want to hear me talk about, you know, shout out to me in the comment section on this video. When you get a chance, hit the subscribe and the like button. Um, I appreciate that. But anyway, so a few topics that I was thinking about discussing in the upcoming weeks. Um, you can have your cake. It's your cake. Uh, interracial love. Dating new school. Having a vagina doesn't make you a queen. And having a penis doesn't make you a king just a few topics um i like to have conversations rel relative to things that are going on and things that everyone is dealing with whether that's relationships um trying to figure out how to progress um mental state of mind focusing on uh, positivity and so on because these are things that we're all dealing with as human beings but today's topic is a uh, battle of the sexes <laughs> i believe everyone everyone you know listening has at some point or has at some point or will at some point experience this particular exchange of sorts, whether you're a male living in this, you know, current climate of things or whether you're a female living in this current climate of things. There just seems to be a very um, interesting shift that is occurring when it comes to the, the battle, which I believe has existed since the beginning of the time. So let's get started. So the battle of the sexes um, seems to me like more now than ever, there is a a strife, a, a, some sort of butting of heads, you know, where you have the women on one side and you have the men on the other side and there just seems to be, a, you know, just a constant, just, it's not even a collaboration. It is just a full on sumo head to head combat. <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't know when this occurred. I don't know when it started to shift, you know, um, anyone who's everyone that has a pulse and is somewhat alive and paying attention has noticed that in current day in this climate that we exist that there is a lot of shifting taking place you know we have more now than ever um women being verbal and vocalizing their position on what they want and desire and then you have men actually doing the same thing whether it's combating you know the the topics that are you know feminism and the me too movement or is it or it's opposing or it's in collaboration of support but anyway there still is a battle of of, of the sexes and yeah <laughs> it, it's interesting to me so what is going on in the world today well i think that is existing is that we have amongst the parties that are involved both male and female there's a lack of healthy communication what do i mean by healthy communication healthy communication to me is utilizing the things that we are given as words excuse me to convey our point and get our point across now i talked about some of these um particular tips in one of my videos communication is key check that out when you get a chance but healthy communication is is really is key when you talk about trying to establish your position on something when you talk about trying to convey your thoughts on something your outlook your emotions um your perspective you have to operate in a place of health, meaning the intent. If you're talking, the whole point of communicating, in my opinion, is to get a proper point across, a positive point across. And if you're looking to have a conversation, a dialogue, not a monologue, um, then you would, I would encourage you to be utilizing things that are healthy in communicating your points. Um, lack of understanding. This is huge. I think right here is where a lot of things break down. So I'm a male, as you can see, I'm sure. Um, and I deal with females in, in a capacity of dating and things like that. There's that, That's been the pursuit for me. Now, I on firsthand can say that there's a lot of things that I do not understand. There's a lot of things that I've 
grown to work on trying to understand, but from a biological perspective, just me processing the way I process it, I believe in, 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 in a lot of cases, most males, there is a conditioned mindset of sorts. There's just a difference in how we see things and how women see things and vice versa. There's a, a huge difference on how women see things and how men see things. And in these differences, a lot of times is where I believe some of that, you know, that that clash happens is that there is perspectives, also expectations of sorts that are present and dominant in one or the other party. And neither party is doing what I would say is trying to put themselves in the place of the other party and truly trying to understand maybe the points that they're making or maybe with a position that they're coming from. Um, lack of empathy. Huge. Again, empathy is not so much patting something, so patting someone on the head or on the back and saying, oh, it's going to be okay. Empathy supersedes just those gestures. Empathy, in my opinion, is learning again, connecting to understanding, or at least trying to understand. Uh, with the empathetic heart, I believe you can grow and develop and expand even on the person that you are because you try to embody what the person is conveying to you or an experience that they've had. Um, again, that's that's how I see it. So lack of empathy um, and dramatic assumptions. <laughs> again, these are things that I believe that are present and what is causing some of the the, the, the rift, some of that, you know, that that <laughs> that clash of sorts, dramatic assumptions. There is, I hear things, and I'm always surveying the internet. I have a lot of conversations with both males and females, and I hear a lot of things that sometimes I'm like, you know, wait, wait, dude, uh, that doesn't sound realistic, nor vice versa. Same thing. I'll be like, no, excuse me, young lady, uh, that doesn't sound realistic. You know, it's dramatic assumptions. Um. So one of the things I wanted to mention in this particular show is how do you quantify equality? You know, there's this talk about equality, you know, like I said, like I said the topic of this show is battle of the sexes. And in the current climate of things, we are looking at a time now to where everything is being drawn like line by line. Like we are trying to quantify both contributions from either you being a male and what that looks like and what that's supposed to look like and what that's supposed to come with or you being a female and vice versa, what that looks like, you know, educated, non-educated, um, you know, economic growth, uh, lack of economics. So, so I don't think any time that I've been alive, I've seen more comparison, um, you know, pros and cons when you talk about both parties. And so we live in a time now that, how, you know, we're trying to quant, 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 we're trying to qualify or quant, quantify equality. And my question is to the public, how do you do that? What does equality look like? Um, again, that's a subjective thing, but, you know, gives you something to think about. Um, unrealistic expectations kind of ties in with dramatic assumptions. Unrealistic expectations, I think, is some of the, is, is, is probably one of the biggest elements of what is causing this battle you know the unrealistic expectation that you know me being a man I'm supposed to know most know all be strong be sensitive be creative be sweet be sexy be sensitive yeah that that's a lot and then vice versa um women having to be attractive, be meek, be supportive, be creative, be strong, be disciplined. There's a lot. Uh, where do all these expectations come from? I I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's a lot. And I think it causes, it, it, it is, it is what is causing some of the rift, what is causing some of the, the, the battle and the, the, the combative nature that is now both male and females instead of being allies are being you know on opposite sides of the spectrum and battling each other instead of working together skewed viewpoints skewed viewpoints to me come from 
very variations of things upbringing culture uh, impact surroundings religious background region it, it's so many ways of where you can get a skewed viewpoint and I've always encouraged people that before you formulate a, a solid opinion you should try to stack that opinion up against multiple uh, examples multiple sectors multiple areas multiple cultures you know every everything doesn't belong to just one scenario you have to in my opinion if you want to collect a fair perspective a balanced perspective you have to stack it up against multiple things in order to formulate a concrete viewpoint my opinion um and I believe what, if anything that's occurring, and you see it all the time, it's talked about all the time, both parties are afraid of being taken advantage of. I was just recently listening to a video um, on YouTube, matter of fact, uh, and the gentleman was talking about, you know, the hundred most expensive divorces that have occurred, you know, in just the history of divorces. And as we know, or well, if you don't know, let me tell you, in most cases, these divorces are causing men's economics to be affected dramatically you know I'll, I can throw out a random number but let's just say about 97% of the divorces on that list are men both men are being divorced women are divorcing you know them or vice versa but the men are the ones paying for it and it's astronomical numbers and I think this particular topic of discussion was in reference to the me too movement and equality on how Adele I guess just recently got a divorce a file for divorce and she was being taxed 140 million dollars Suppose, you know somewhere around that figure and it was an outrage uh how is she gonna be taxed 140 million dollars that's not fair you know and but the outrage came from the fact that this in in this particular situation this is a woman paying you know a man and i'm seeing amount of money in, in a dissolution of marriage well that is not something new under the sun i mean we have too many examples of where couples have divorced and men are being taxed for it i mean jeff bezos not too long ago 36 billion dollars but anyway not to get off topic so both parties i believe are afraid of being taken advantage of i think that as a man you know when i'm when i'm interacting you know with the young lady i'm definitely always looking to have my time respected uh my thoughts respected you know, my resources respected. No person, in my opinion, wants to be taken advantage of. And that's vice versa. You know, from what my female friends tell me, and, you know, I have a sister, I have a mother. Uh, they've shared things with me about a certain level of respect and not wanting to be taken advantage of. I think that both parties' reaction sometimes is coming from that place, that premise. Uh, the response and the reactions is from that. No one wants to be taken advantage of. This is where you get that uh, that saying, you know, uh, you want to have your cake and eat it too, which I hate that saying, by the way. <laughs> it's so freaking stupid. But anyway, uh, <laughs> back on topic. So what could be some solutions? People need to uh, apply significant effort in trying to understand the other party's point of view or viewpoint. I think that going back to what I was saying originally, we as people need to do more of trying to understand the other party you know I'm a male so I'm gonna interact with a female I would do my best to apply effort in understanding potentially where she's coming from now I may not understand fully understand I may not fully grasp the emotional impact of source I may not fully grasp her whole perspective but the effort of trying to place effort one being the key word in understanding in my opinion is one of the best ways to go about it and vice versa women if you're going to be involved with a man it's your job to try to figure him out not box him not apply you know general knowledge but try to figure him out if you're gonna deal with him try to figure him out and, and the same for you know my fellas out there um two being mindful of the words and the thoughts that you may convey words are very powerful I'm going to repeat, words are very powerful. Not only words, but tone. Not only tone, but delivery. If you're going to say something, it is your responsibility to be accountable for how you say something, what you say, when you say it, because you're the, you're the author of your words. You know, if 
I, I try to operate from a place of intent and this is where relationship comes in time and getting to know a person you know and that comes with getting to know a person that sometimes things are said that may be misconstrued miscommunicated or get mixed up well still the person who said it is still responsible for what they're intending to convey and if the person receiving it is not receiving it the way you intended well then it's your job to reiterate or re 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 reestablish reinterpret because you're the author of your words um and what you're trying to convey and the final thought Navigating the new normal with clear, precise communication. A lot of what I've been saying in this topic is relative to communication. Um, I think that that's key in everything. You know, we're living in a time now that things are changing and shifting. We're experiencing things we've never experienced before, uh, both politically, uh, emotionally, psychologically, societally. There, there's a lot of shifts occurring. Um, so I think that. Clear, precise communication is where we will start to see a, a bit of a, a, a crystallizing of sorts, a, a better foundation of sorts. Um, and that's what I'll leave you guys with today. Uh, I definitely appreciate the time that you gave me. You know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share me with your friends. And when you get a chance, jump in the uh, comment section and let me know what you guys want to hear me talk about or hear me discuss. This is Daniel Rucker with True Table signing out. You guys have a good one. Thank you.